motherfucking bunga, though not to be confused with angry video game nerd with cavil fucking piece of dog shit, this is actually all about the brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game Mutants in Manhattan. This is being developed by the motherfucking badasses over at Platinum Games Studio. And you might be thinking to yourself, Alpha, why should I even give three, four, even five fucks about such a studio developing a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game? Simple. Beautiful Joe and Bayonetta. They made those games. They know beat-em-ups. They know brawlers. They know hack-and-slash games. They know games with tons of style and flair. They know how to make a bitchin' ass title for people to enjoy the living crap out of. So, them getting a license, such as TMNT, this is that shit that's a match made in geek.nerdy heaven that I would sit down and think, what studios would be really good if they went and picked up this or that or that or this? Now, the only thing that kind of made me take a couple steps back and then get all worried and freaked out was the fact that I saw Activision's name on it. I was just like, wait, what are the <laughs> You're fucking kidding me. Because Konami no longer is directly attached and affiliated with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles brand anymore. As all of you know, they've made plenty of the past titles. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game. By far one of the best beat-em-ups, let alone arcade games to date. The trilogy on NES, Hyperstone Heist, uh, Turtles in Time. The trilogy that was on PS2, Xbox, and GameCube that was based off the 2000 series. Which has turned out to be my all-time favorite series, by the way. No, this is going to be done by Platinum Game Studio, but Activision's name being associated with it, I mean, their name just dredges up all of these ill feelings because of the shit that they do nowadays. You know, they're just milking franchises until they no longer have any value or worth and just kind of demolishing and destroying tons of shit. But then I had thought about, well, what about the new Transformers game? I mean, that's fucking awesome. We're talking about a Transformers game that's based off the 80s cartoon show, looks like it, and just plays like a dream, is really fucking fun, I'm like, okay, I, I think that so long as they give them the artistic creativity and the freedom that they need, you know, they just provide the money cock and say, hey, go do your thing, they'll be just fine. Now, the announcement like this made me think of a couple of things that I would love to see since we don't really have any concrete details about what the game's going to look like, what's going to be in it, except for the rumor that it might be mature rated. That threw me for a loop. I was just like, whoa, whoa, whoa hold up. Every time I think about mature rated Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I think about the black and white comics from what it was based off of, Malibu Comics. And I mean, it was dark and gritty and fucked up. We're talking about violence and swearing and murder and alcoholism and all sorts of crazy shit. Like, real deal problems, and especially by comparison to the happy-go-lucky fucking shooting rainbows out of their dicks and assholes at whatever other random fucking turtle orifice that you want to go and find, which was the cartoon show that we all grew up and love. I mean, it's like night and day. So for this to be mature rate, it was just like, huh. Interesting. More interesting because the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles show that's on Nickelodeon, obviously it's a far cry from being mature rated. So, could is there any legitimacy to something like this? Would they even be as so daring to do that? Because, again, you got the live action movies that are out that, that are definitely nowhere near as dark as those comics. You have the Nickelodeon show, so... Would they risk doing such a thing? I mean, that could potentially alienate fans and kind of piss people off, but should you really give a shit because we're talking about a series that's based off of this stuff? I mean, it was dark and gritty, so who the fuck knows? Either way, I'm just hoping this will be a badass game, and considering the folks who are behind it, I have every reason to assume it's going to be great. I want to see something like... Let's take Manhattan, for example, because it's mutants in Manhattan. So they plunk down right into fucking New York. And I want this to be an open world city. One big open world, have the sewers as its own section, dimension acted. I, I want to go sewer surfing. Look, I need to go sewer surfing. Granted, I won't be able to get a remix version of the theme song from the games on SNES and arcade and shit, but... And that, that kind of breaks my heart that we won't see shit like that, because, oh man, I fucking love those games so much. But it's something that they could still do, they could still consider. I mean, a, a beat-up, maybe some 
RPG mechanics tossed in. You know, you level up, you start learning new combos, new moves, and you know, make it four player. Definitely four player has to be an option. Online co-op would be really nice made the game a lot more difficult and more challenging with the more players that are jumping in and kicking the living crap out of things. Let's kick shell! So the game will get harder and adapt to the amount of players that are in it. I, I, would, I would like that. Maybe we could get a lot of the obscure and crazy characters from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles universe. Uh, alternate costumes, unlockables, not shit that you just buy. Activision, I know that you love to just get all fucking crazy with microtransactions and downloadable content, season passes and shit. Let's just take all that stuff and throw it out the fucking window and not do that. Don't do that because that's how you ruin a good thing and you make people just regret their decision for picking it up and wanting to think that you would do good with it. So, Make it unlockable. Hell, if you made a special edition that included something such as maybe an omnibus of the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle comics, or just any of them, really, there's plenty out there. If you include that in with a special edition, that'd be fucking awesome. I know that they have tons and tons and tons of TMNT figures. Maybe include some figures with that along with the comic. That would be amazing. I'd throw plenty of fucking money at that. And that's a no-brainer. Package that shit together, bundle it up, because there's lots of comic book shops that I go into, and I'll see these rare figure sets that are being flipped on eBay for tons of money, and their base MSRP price is like, through the fucking roof, something that I normally am just not going to fork out the cash for, so if you could do it on this, and especially considering that a lot of times it's limited production, limited run on them, so this would be a nice way of having that out there for more people to go and pick up. So, huh? I, 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 I definitely like that. Let's see, well, what else, what else? Maybe episodes from the cartoon series that, that could be watched, unlocked again. I like unlockables, I, I can't really help it. I, I would enjoy some throwbacks to some of the previous Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games. I, as, so long as we don't acknowledge certain shit like, I don't know, the coming out of our shell world tour. It was all singing and dancing and really, really bad. And next mutation, we don't want to think about that either, so we can avoid those. Or if you wanted, acknowledge them, but make those versions of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles show up and get the living shit beaten out of them. And it'll just be strange if you go and have like Venus running around. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle titties. Turtle titties. Turtle titties are just fucking weird. No matter what you're into and what your fucking kink is, I'm sorry, turtle titties are fucking weird. That That's just, that's how it is. So, let, let's avoid all that. M maybe we can have uh, Yusagi Ojimbo, uh -huh, have him run around it. He's like one of the best crossover characters that they ever included with it. Well, I, I don't know, the Power Rangers crossover was kind of neat, though a lot of, uh, like, Old school TMNT fans were pretty pissed off because, you know, Power Rangers stole the thunder from that. And I was just like, why can't everybody just like both? Because they're both pretty fucking badass. And it seemed like the idea of a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Megazord would be just it's fucking astounding. Oh, man, I would, I would love that. Uh, maybe Rock'em Sock'em Robots version? Uh, just like that. Let's see. Uh, what else could they include? Uh, I don't know. How about a versus mode? A versus mode that's kind of like, you know how they had the beat em up version of the games? Uh, was it Smash Up? I think it was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Smash Up. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. So you'll have to excuse me if I'm not 100% accurate. But the idea of something like that could work in this. Just toss them into an arena, everybody's got a life bar, beat the living shit out of each other. Just throw that out there. Make tons of side quests and different characters that you can go. Like, look at the Lego games. You're running around doing all this crazy shit and unlocking tons of people that aren't technically like super different from one another, but enough that it gets people invested and really interested in it. Apply that to this. And when I think about Beautiful Joe and Bayonetta and I think about like how insane the combat gets for these games, I'm like, dude, just imagine this with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. 
I would fucking kill to see some of this shit. It would be so damn amazing. I'm just really stoked and excited for him just throwing out random ass ideas that I think would be neat. Maybe have like a couple nods to past Platinum games. Shit just littered about through the game because they're pretty good about that. They, they've definitely made nods towards Duff May Cry and some other stuff and I've liked that. So maybe, maybe with this, possibly, fingers crossed and all that shit. But a TMNT game, Possibly mature rated, but definitely being developed by Platinum Games. This is all good news and is something that all fucking like crazy ass pizza eating turtle fans should love the shit out of. Either way, this is Alpha Omega Sin. As always, Nurse Nerd as a Gamers Game. The fuck on.